The mainstream media blasting the Trump transition as chaotic. But Eric Erickson says those stories are a quote from disgruntled lobbyists. The resurgent editor and Fox News contributor joins me now. Disgruntled lobbyists. Why do you think that? Well, because a lot of them were there with the transition team when Chris Christie was in charge. And once Mike Pence took over last week, he ushered them to the door and, and threw them out. And in fact, they've now signed the most aggressive lobbyist ban of any administration, uh, much more broader and thorough than what the Barack Obama administration did, saying you can't lobby the administration for five years after working for it. And it is not a coincidence that within days of Mike Pence firing all the lobbyists on the transition team, suddenly sources from Washington close to the transition team say it's in chaos. Yeah. No, I, I mean, a lot of the things that come floating out, I, I doubt, clearly they're being put out there by someone, but you just right. doubt the veracity of a lot of it. Um, you are a hardcore never Trumper. How do you feel right. now? Well, you know, I think that for those of us who got the election so wrong, we need to exercise some humility and give Donald Trump the benefit of the doubt now. I mean, he proved us wrong, so perhaps there are other things we're wrong about. And the ongoing hysteria about him winning the election, it was a fair and square win. So now he's going to be our president, not these uh, he's not my president types. That's what they did with Barack Obama and the left was upset. Uh, he's going to be our president. We should give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. What do you think about the transition team? I mean, you hit on it a bit, but uh, announcing this five-year ban on lobbying, is it realistic? What impact does it have? I, you know, I think it's very realistic, and it, it clearly shows that Mike Pence is in charge of the transition team. When he was a member of Congress, he was very deeply opposed to uh, lobbyists leaving the Bush administration and then immediately turning around and lobbying. He was opposed to earmarks, and so he's clearly, clearly leaving his stamp on this transition team and exercising a firm hand on it, and it's yeah. classic Mike Pence. He's a very upstanding, ethical guy. You know, it looks like Donald Trump, we're seeing these reports, is having this meeting with Mitt Romney over the weekend. It's being floated that he's being considered for Secretary of State. I don't know if I buy that. What do you think is, is really going on? I, I think it's it's probably party unity. Uh, it, I would be surprised if Mitt Romney did take it, but this is the year of surprises. Uh, it just seems like everybody in America thus far has been named as a possible Secretary right. of State pick. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it, it, you're throwing every name in the hat right now, and and I just I, I I don't see it, but then that probably makes it true. That's true. I missed my name in the rumors, but for the record, I'm not taking Me the too. job, Eric. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you. <laughs>